live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 Morning News at 9. The do's and don'ts for planning your wedding as we celebrate National Proposal Day. Not only is today the first day of spring, it is also National Proposal Day. And here with some advice on how to choose the perfect ring, engagement whisperer and founder of the website, Sparkly Steve Simon. Steve, good morning, and thank you for being here. Good morning, thanks for having me. I'm going to pretend that you don't see that I am wearing one of your rings right now and see if you forget about it by the time <laughs> we're done with this segment, you just walk away and leave it right on my hand. Hey, we can make that happen. <laughs> I love it. Okay, what are some of the most, this is National Proposal Day, so people will propose on this? Day or? So technically National Proposal Day is a day for all the people out there who've been waiting a long time for that special someone to pop the question and it hasn't quite come yet. Okay. And so today is an opportunity for them to maybe be a little bit more upfront and let them know that now's a good time to propose. If you're thinking about proposing, yeah. just do it. There's <laughs> never a perfect time. You brought different uh, styles. Um, I know that these sometimes go in and out of trend, whether you do the round ones, you do the square ones. Sure. Tell us a little bit about some of what's um, trending for this year. So rounds are always super popular. Nearly 50% of the rings that are sold these days that's end up like being a round. round. Um, that's actually an oval. Oh. So a round would be like that like okay. or even like that. Okay. And um, so yeah, nearly 50% are round. Besides that, cushions are super popular and as are ovals. Ovals are trending in popularity because they do share similar characteristics of round, but not as many people have them. Okay, and you talk about not as many people have them. I went straight for the biggest one. <laughs> this is the biggest one. Uh, tell me about this, what is this? So this is a five carat fancy yellow cushion diamond. Oh. And I think that retails for about $90,000. So See, it's, it's if, a nice point. If you love her, $90,000 is like nothing. It's all the guys around. <laughs> yeah, that's how you can really show them. <laughs> rolling their eyes. How much though, uh, Steve, in all honesty, should somebody, like if you want to budget for it, how much do you budget for an engagement ring? You know, I think it really comes down to personal preference. These days, I think the average is about $6,500. Okay. Some people spend less than that and do alternative stones. It's not as important to them. Other people spend a whole lot more because they see it as a long-term investment and um, they're going to have it the rest of their lives and they figure, why not spend the money? Do you feel like men are getting more and more involved in the wedding? Because sometimes, I mean, I think it's this preconceived notion that it's all about the girls, what they want to do for wedding and rings. I think so. I mean, I think men are getting more involved in general and it starts with the proposal because nearly 70% of women are involved in their engagement ring decision. Mm -hmm. And so the element of surprise is gone, so men want to make up for that by being more involved in the engagement and making that a special day, and it carries on to the wedding. Okay, I like this. It's called Sparkly. What exactly is Sparkly? So mysparkly.com is the new hub for all things engagement rings. Mm -hmm. It's a place where you can go and learn about and gain inspiration for your future engagement ring. Oh. And you can think of it almost like a Pinterest that's specifically made for engagement rings. Okay. And every single picture is of a real ring on a real hand. And what's unique about it is we provide all the specifications for every picture so you know what you're looking at. Speaking of the pictures and the whole, this whole online thing, it, for me, honestly, it makes me nervous to ever buy jewelry or a diamond online because how do you know that you're getting the real deal? So we've had a lot of people tell us about great success with online retailers. You should obviously do research and look at reviews, but um, yeah, they're, they're definitely legitimate. Some even offer free returns if you don't like it after you get the ring. The hard part about buying rings online is it's hard to see how the diamond that you're buying right. translates into real life. Okay. And that's one of the reasons we built mysparkly.com where you can look at a retailer and then see all the different styles right. people actually have in real life. I love it. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, good stuff. If you want to get more information on Sparkly, you can go to our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab, Miss Russo. What do you think about this? What did they say? If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> right? I think they're, they're really okay. shiny. Very pretty rings. All right, so it's 934. And